So you remember a couple months ago that crazy story that came out where there was accusations that Tom Brady was going to leave the Buccaneers, become an executive with the Dolphins, and then potentially name himself QB? Well, it turns out a whole bunch of that is true. Posse Posse Packer Nation. Welcome to another episode of Packcast, the podcast where you don't have to do Packers fan. But it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom. This is an insane story, Grassy. And breaking news. The NFL has just released a statement in which they have concluded a six-month investigation into the Miami Dolphins in which you had a former U.S. attorney and a whole bunch of lawyers look into the Dolphins and try to figure out two things. One, did the Dolphins intentionally tank during the 2019 season? This was based off of allegations from then-head coach Brian Flores. And two, did they have illegal communications with players and or coaches? And it turns out... Oh, yes. While the tanking, there is some nuance there and they are not going to get charged with anything. They were definitely found to be having improper communications with players and coaches who were signed with other teams. And this has led to them losing their first round pick next year and their fourth round pick in 2024. So let's kind of just jump into this. So to provide some context, a little while ago, you had Brian Flores, who went through his whole thing with the NFL in which you had Bill Belichick text him saying congrats on getting in the Giants job, but that was meant for Brian Dable. And so that was a whole mess. But Brian Flores basically came out and said, hey, Stephen Ross, the owner of the Miami Dolphins, he basically encouraged me to tank, offered me $100,000 to start losing games. And on top of that, was having communications that he shouldn't have with players. And there was a lot of speculation on who that player was, but then it really came down to probably being Tom Brady. And the report today confirms that that is the case. So what did the Dolphins actually do? Well, in August of 2019, they were caught talking to Tom Brady while he was still on the Patriots, and that is called tampering. They are not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to communicate with other players about them potentially coming and playing for you while they are still signed to a contract with another team. So that was strike one. Then they did it again with Tom Brady. This time it was during and after the 2021 season in which they were talking to Brady and talking about him, one, not only being a limited partner with the Miami Dolphins, two, potentially being an executive with the Dolphins, and three, there was potential that he would even play for the Dolphins. So that insane story about him potentially leaving the Buccaneers, like retiring and then coming back and being an executive and then potentially playing for the Dolphins, turns out that that was pretty accurate, which is just one of the wildest stories I've ever heard. Now, why is this such a big deal besides the tampering? Well, it turns out that Stephen Ross, again, the owner of the Dolphins, was aware of this the entire time and was being kept abreast of this conversation that they were having with Brady both times. So that is a big old no-no. So besides the integrity of the game violations, you also have to feel bad for Tua because all those rumors that came out that Steven Ross was not a fan of him and were actively trying to get other QBs like Deshaun Watson, for example. Yeah, that turns out to be right. So next time Tua actually sits down with uh, Mr. Ross, that might be a smidge awkward. And it goes beyond just Tom Brady because it seems that in January of 2022, the Miami Dolphins were interested in one Sean Payton. Apparently, the Dolphins reached out to the agent of Sean Payton while he was still under contract with the New Orleans Saints. He had not announced his retirement, and the Dolphins were inquiring to see if he wanted to be the new Dolphins head coach. Then when Sean Payton actually announced his retirement, the Dolphins went through the proper channels and reached out to the Saints. They were like, hey, can we interview him? And the Saints said no. So this was just another example of tampering, first with Tom Brady both times and now with Sean Payton, so the Dolphins basically got caught twice. But looking into the potential tanking, apparently what happened here was that Stephen Ross had made a bunch of comments saying that they should basically put the draft over their win-loss record. This was during the 2019 season. Brian Flores was concerned with these comments, so he wound up mentioning it to upper executives, and then apparently Mr. Ross stopped making those comments. However, there was a comment by Mr. Ross in the future, apparently where $100,000 was offered for them to start losing games. 
However, after talking to a bunch of people and trying to get the context, it was ruled that this wasn't a serious comment and he was quote unquote joking. So while there wasn't enough evidence to support the tanking, it still probably isn't great that an owner is even joking about that because they should just be winning games and not trying to tank and get a better draft pick. Now, what does this mean for the Miami Dolphins? As I mentioned, their punishment is pretty severe, but to be completely honest with you, I'm surprised it's not a little bit more severe. They've lost their 2023 first round pick and their 2024 fourth round pick. In addition, owner of the Dolphins, Stephen Ross, has been suspended through mid-October and has been fined $1.5 million. So a pretty significant punishment here in which this is going to obviously impact their draft capital, but I think this also was a shot across the bow and being like, hey, we're not going to accept this. And I think this just adds on to the fact that this has been one of the craziest off-seasons for the NFL in recent memory. This is an insane story, and I'm really curious to see like what this means about Tom Brady. He probably won't get punished or anything, but just to think maybe what is he going to do after this season, considering it looks like the Dolphins and him were potentially working on something where he was going to wind up being a part of the Miami Dolphins organization in some form, which again, considering the Dolphins and Patriots history and Tom Brady's history with the Dolphins, this, this story is just wild. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Dolphins fans, woof, so sorry. Uh, let me know what you think. You guys find me at TomGrossyComedy.com or at TomGrossyComedy, all social media see down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and of course YouTube. And a big shout and thank you to all the patrons over patreon.com slash TomGrossyComedy and the YouTube members. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassy. And as always, go back, go. Go.